Hey what's up you guys, I'm going to talk about fronts and faking yourself today, it's just loads of people are trying to live up to magazines and TV and these perfect people you see in them, it's just crazy, I see children who are like 9, 8 or 9 now going around town with um, mostly older siblings who are like 14, 15 and they're putting makeup on and they're wearing things that aren't really appropriate for their age it just drives me mad thinking that people have to fit into a perfect world that is all supposed to be sunshine and rainbows and perfect people with perfect bodies and fashion and skin and I don't understand it because I know I've not always been the most natural person I do wear makeup I do have piercings and I have dyed my hair many, many times, as you guys who know me will obviously know. I, <laughs> I've done it like crazy amounts. I tried to fit in with everyone. I changed myself from having bleach blonde hair with a full fringe, loads of makeup and like dresses and shorts and everything to fit in with certain people that I knew to then I went and started hanging out somewhere else in town with like some of my best friends I've ever made helped me figure out who I was and I then went from the one extreme of bleach blonde hair to the extreme of jet black hair and I mean I, I didn't want to hide behind it I was expressing how I wanted to be because I wanted to be different I didn't want to be who I was so I changed into what I thought was perfect to fit in with these people and then because I didn't want to be that anymore I changed myself once again because of my imperfection that I thought I had. So it's literally I've been changing myself to fit in with people since I think it was since I started secondary school. I found it quite hard being who I was in school because the way I dress and the way me and my friends acted I used to be asked if I was an emo, if I was a grebo, if I self-harmed, if I was gay, if I was bisexual. I got asked so many things because of the way I looked and the way I acted with my friends. And I just think it's crazy how everyone seems to want to fit into this w ideal person or ideal group. I don't think it's right how everyone tries to fit into the same groups. I understand that obviously if you do want to look a certain way because you genuinely just want to change the way you look for because you got bored with your hair or you want to change how you do your makeup. I understand that because I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having like loads of eyeliner or no makeup on at all with black hair, red hair, purple hair, whatever colour you want. I totally understand expressing yourself through the way you look. It's more how people are feeling forced to change themselves so much like the way they look is changed completely from being who they were when they started something to meeting people who are trying who are pressuring them into making them feel like they're not how they are is good and how they should be more perfect so they change their they want to change body shape they want to change the way they look and that even goes on to really serious things guys it causes anorexia um what was other things anorexia which causes like problems with your bones, problems with your organs and you get really really thin and m many people have died from it guys and it's appalling that people think they need to be stick thin literally skin and bones to fit in with people or to fit into society and other people go to such extremes where They've damaged their body so much, even when they want to change it, they can't go back to how they originally were. It's like some people get so ill from anorexia or bulimia 
to the point where they are hospitalised and they do start losing hair, losing strength. Um, it And because they're that ill, they're stuck in a hospital bed or housebound, which makes their muscles weak and their bones get weak. And it just, it's crazy. I don't like the thought of people out there thinking they have to conform to what they see in a magazine or an advert on TV for makeup. Um, what else can I say really? It's just, I know loads of people will say it and it is, oh hiding, <laughs> is kind of a cliche but everyone is perfect and you should be able to deal with how you look and you should be happy with how you are because y you're made that way, you're not made to be forced by other people to change yourself to fit in everyone fits in with someone and you literally you will go through stages of thinking you're perfect with friends with some people and then you realize that you weren't really who they thought you were and you were just acting that way to please them because i found that i found that i would tend to change how i act around people and then when I come home, I'd be myself. And when I go back out with my friends, I would completely change again. I mean, I still do. I still act different around certain people. It's like, with my best friend, she's mental. She's completely like me. We are basically twins separated at birth. <laughs> Except she's really tall with dark hair. And I'm shorter with blonde hair. <laughs> and it's crazy because we act absolutely mental we could be shoved in a field with nothing to do and we would just run round in circles and other people would find that really strange but we would find that perfectly normal and i've forgotten where i was going with this awkward <laughs> but really it's just i changed myself from when i'm out with my best friend i changed from just sat in my room not really doing much to from drawing and watching CSI because I'm slightly obsessed <laughs> to going absolutely mental being able to have fun doing absolutely nothing but then when I'm at college I tend to act a bit more tame than when I do outside because obviously you can't just act like a complete mental person inside a college you need to have respect for things and then when I come home I'm different because obviously I don't swear out of respect i don't run around the house like a lunatic and i just but then with different groups of my friends because we don't all know each other we don't all hang out i do find myself acting different with my outside of college friends than i do with my inside college friends because inside college we're all basically the same not the same as in all exactly the same but we have the same personality so we're all a bit mental and we all just do what we like and then outside college friends because most of my friends outside college are guys i tend to act a bit i don't know how to explain how i act but i do change like quite a lot because i'm a bit tamer i don't do certain things with them that i would do with my girl mates so that's a bit different um it's just i've changed myself to please people i've changed myself to fit in i've changed myself so people would stop asking me questions i thought if i changed into someone that everybody would like i wouldn't be bullied i wouldn't be um, rubbish in school i thought i would have millions of friends and everything like this whereas it turned out being myself in school i didn't get bullied i did have a really good group of friends and i did get good grades so the less time you worry about how to look, how society sees you, what other people think of you, the less time you spend doing that, you can concentrate on other things, like more important things like college and work and GCSEs, anything you put your mind to, without all the stress of society being perfect and people stressing you out into it. When you don't get really down, you don't get an illness, you feel more confident in yourself and you get things done that you wanted to get done because i've now gone from an art student in school that did history and catering 
to a full-time art student in college three days a week to whenever I'm not in college I'm drawing, making things, printing t-shirts, everything because from year seven I changed myself loads as I've told you I tied my hair, everything trying to fit in and then I got to college and I finally feel myself I feel that I don't need to have bleach blonde hair anymore I feel I don't need to wear as much makeup I go out without any foundation on I wear only eye makeup and maybe some blush and that's literally it and I will wear what I like when I like if I wanted to wear bright purple leggings with a polka dot skirt I'd go out wearing it I wouldn't mind it's just literally I found some friends that helped me become more myself so instead of hiding yourselves away trying to be perfect be yourself if the people don't like you for who you are leave them you could you'll always have someone there for you and even if you feel like you don't I'm here literally email me comment just somehow get in contact with me and I will try and help you out I will be all happy and smiley and I'll be your friend I will definitely be you guys friends because you guys have helped me through quite a lot when I first started making YouTube videos I was in not a really dark place but I was in a medium greyish place where I wasn't happy I was upset most of the time I stayed in the house all the time that made me ill so I'm now on tablets for anxiety um, and since I've got to college I only take one third of the recommended anxiety tablets a day I'm supposed to take three but I only take one in the morning which is really good because I used to stay in the house every day all day doing nothing and now I want to go out and I want to see my friends and I want to do things and now that I have those friends, I don't feel I need to have the makeup, the clothes, the hair. So as you can see, I'm dying, well, not dying the hair anymore, because like, my roots are like here, and that's all my natural colour. I have hardly any makeup on today. And I really hope you guys have the confidence to be yourself, to be able to stand up and be like yeah I am skinny and I do get asked if I'm ill and stuff like this but I don't care I'm skinny because that's the way my genetics are I have blue eyes because that's my genetics I have size six feet because I have genetics that tell me this so basically your genetics are supposed to be that way so don't go changing yourself if you have blonde hair, be proud that you're blonde. Don't let anyone tell you because of your hair colour you are done, you're stupid, anything. If you have red hair or ginger, don't let anyone take the mick out of you. If they do, laugh with them and then brush it off. If you find it funny, laugh. If you don't find it funny, ask them to stop. Simple as. If you don't like what someone's saying, either walk away or tell them to stop because without doing that it's bullying and bullying does cause people to get so down and then they want to conform and be perfect but we're not as you can see I'm not perfect uh, my room's not perfect it's a complete and utter mess <laughs> and I don't want to be perfect I've never wanted to wow well, I've never wanted to be perfect I've just wanted to fit in and I found that being myself did help me fit in so I hope this has helped you guys because I really wasn't myself and now I'm pretty much there so like if you agree with that everyone's perfect and we don't need to look like we're in magazines body shapes are amazing stick with your shape um, anyway I love you guys as you are if you have bright blue hair and purple eyebrows <laughs> or natural hair and no eyebrows like me <laughs> I love you all I hope you um, learnt that we don't need to be perfect from this video and that I will always be your friend no matter what you go through I will always be here for you guys I love you so much thank you for all the support and everything that you guys have done for me with supporting with my Facebook to my clothing to my YouTube you've been amazing thank you